Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. Our top story, the fight against wildfires in Arizona. The biggest threat right now is the Telegraph Fire, which continues to burn just east of the valley. The fire has burned almost 86,000 acres since last Friday and is now 40% contained. At least 20 structures have been destroyed or damaged. Team 12's Josh Sanders is live in Superior. And Josh, the battle against the Telegraph Fire has been underway for an entire week now. Yeah, Caribe. And while many evacuated right away when those orders came out, some made the dangerous decision to stay home, like top of the world resident Daniel Illig, the, yard, the fire just yards from his doorstep. Oh, yeah. I'm very tired. Daniel Illig and exhausted after what he says feels like a week in hell. Flames from the telegraph fire across the road from his front door in top of the world. Where there is a field burn and lots of fuel beside us, lots of fuel toward gold, lots of fuel toward Superior. Friday is the first time he's ventured from his doorstep to pick up supplies in Superior. He's one of seven people in that community he says decided to stay and defend their property. Well, hell, we got, okay, 200 people in our park, and we're basically trying to, okay, say, hey, if the fire comes, let's get our water hoses and try to save these people's house. If we have to run away, we have to run away. Officials say the Telegraph fire has basically become manageable, except for a burnout on top of Pinal Peak. This fire here wants to move to the south, uh, to the northeast, uh, through some relatively light fuel, but it's on a slope where we can't place firefighters into it. Firefighters now deciding their plan of attack in order not to burn out other areas of land. What is, what is important is that, that, that we are not expecting this, this thing to take off and, and become a major, accelerate the, the, the spread of this fire. Daniel says the fire has opened his eyes to why fire safety awareness matters and hopes his exhaustion will soon turn into relief. We all need to be fire awareness and fire safe, no matter where you're at. And like you guys said, 20 structures burned, some of those homes. But thankfully, no one has been injured in this fire so far. Live in Superior, Josh Sanders, 12 News. All right, Josh. Thank